Hey guys. Out here in the shed. I actually did some cleaning up last night. Moving some stuff around. Obviously the floor still needs to be pressure washed because them birds just made a mess of it. And it was dirty when we bought it anyway. But I'm eventually going to, uh, well, first steps pressure wash it, but then I'm also going to put that epoxy down. But I mean, this is a pretty good sized shed, so it's going to take a little bit. And I got to get like all that. That's all my trim and shiplap for inside the house. I've got to get that out of the way, obviously. Um, one thing that I wanted to show you guys, though, was a little quick recap of whatever or the things that I found um, this weekend. Some of the things I found anyway. I went to the 3rd Street Market Antique Store in Greenville, Illinois uh, yesterday. I did a little video on that that I've already posted. And then today I went to uh, Ten Pin Bowl antique store which is kind of more like a flea market really in uh, Carlisle, Illinois. Um, I collected a lot of, or I used to collect a lot of old time beer cans. I just like the way they look. When we moved we bought this house back in November and moved in here in November. We packed all of my old bottles and cans into a tote. Well they were then left in a storage unit throughout the winter and I will show you on one of these cans what happened I was keeping these just because they were baseball um, cans somewhat limited edition I just thought they were cool I had two of them full never been opened mint condition well winter time hit they froze and exploded so what happened was they exploded over all the other cans that were in there so for example this is a limited edition, it says right on there. Just a Bud Light can, but it's an NFL can. But it's pretty torn up from that. Um, got pretty filthy. Some of the cans got it a little bit worse, like this one. It pretty well laid right in there with all of the uh, beer and pretty well got ruined. I kept it anyway, um, just because. But also, limited edition, I think this one actually exploded also, because I never did open it. So it also had a leak, so that was a stupid mistake on my part, but today, um, actually I think I got the guy's YouTube card in my pocket still, yeah, Big Tommy on YouTube, so I'm going to actually look him up tonight and see if I can find him. I don't think I have the scanner deal, but I'm just going to see if I can find Big Tommy. But I found a lot of the cans and stuff that I bought today from him, from his uh, uh, booth at the antique store. I'll show you some of them. I guess I'll show you all of them. The ones I bought, they were $1.50 a piece. I just thought they looked cool. Our Beer, brewed with Wisconsin water. Met Brew Near Beer. I don't know where that's from. It probably says in there somewhere. Shells export beer. They've all been open. They got they had little pull tabs on them, so they're little aged to them. I like this one a lot. This is cool. This looks like a keg. Ham's draft beer. It was also a dollar fifty. So pretty good prices. Um and I bought the six pack of VP Fair beer from nineteen eighty two. I've always went to the I haven't been for a few years. I don't really go to St. Louis a lot anymore. It's kind of turned into a bit of a dump to be honest a lot of crime but that's besides the point um i used to go to the vp fair with my mom every year i was born in 83 so this is actually the year before i was born but i think i paid 10 bucks for the six pack might have been a little high but it's going in my personal collection so i didn't really care i just thought it was cool one of them looks like it's been open but still he had a really good selection hit there's a ton of cans um in my initial video of going at the antique store you can see all of his selections, but then I went to Dollar General yesterday. Um, they've been advertising these on the radio. They're just Coke cans, but they're limited edition military cans. It says, thank you, service member. Thank you, American hero. Thank you, military family. Thank you, veteran. And thank you, military spouse. So there's five of them in the series. Um, I just liked them. They're a limited run. 
being sold at Dollar General, there's probably going to be a lot fewer of them sold overall than what you'd find at like a Walmart or gas stations. So um, someday there might be some value to them. In the meantime, I like them. They're a cool part of my collection. I collect random things, as you're going to see with this next one. Found this old Pringles can. Never seen one like it. It's not in mint condition. It's opened. It doesn't smell like chips anymore. But it says made from dried potatoes. Nutrition information. So I mean, it's just kind of a... It's not super, super old, but it's probably... I have no idea, maybe 80s. But... It's got a nice place up there on my apple crate shelf that I built. Um, I paid 75 cents for it. I thought it was kind of cool. All right. I've got my tiki torch burning there, citronella candle. I don't even think the mosquitoes are really out bad tonight, but I lit them up anyway. There's my barbecue sign. August 24th, Little Pig Cook-Off in Beckmeyer. I'll be competing again this year. Hopefully I'll win this year. Got me a couple incense burning. One of them is just because that's a citronella incense. Um, another thing I found yesterday, and if anybody watches this video and has any suggestions on how to open this, if you can see inside of there, there's two, well, see how there's a notch and there's a notch on the bottom one there. Um, I can't get it to open. I tried to use these little picks to get a hold of it and pick it open. Um, I don't know. I don't want to have to drill it open. I don't have the key for it, but if not, I bought this for my daughter. I don't plan on reselling it anytime soon, so it's, she liked the way it looks. She can use it as a piggy bank and keep money in there stored indefinitely until we can figure out how to open it. Turn my light on here. So there's that. That was um, yesterday from Third Street Market in Greenville. I'm trying to remember what else I found there yesterday. Um, I think maybe I put it over here. Oh yeah, found that Jordash. <laughs> Jordash High Fashion Doll. I am going to sell this. It's in the original package. I saw where one of the dolls had sold by itself for like twenty some dollars. So maybe in a package it might sell for a little more. It's not in great condition. The packaging isn't. The doll should be mint. It's never been out, as far as I know. You can see it was originally ten ninety nine at KB. I also bought this uh, Xena Warrior Princess doll, or action figure. They're not. I don't know. I'm not keeping either one of them. I'm going to sell them. Um, I found that a while back. I think I'm going to add that old Diz charcoal to my personal collection. I was going to sell it, but. I like it too much and since I barbecue a lot it's kind of cool um I'll show you some of the cards I found today over here on my couch first couple things are these and I wish they had later sets but it's LeBron James freshman season collection upper deck collectibles unfortunately they only had two of the exact same ones but uh I think it's card 1 through 15, unopened, so mint condition, should be mint condition, it's 2004, um, these actually sell on eBay for a pretty decent price sometimes, there are a lot more than just the first 15 cards in the sets, um, that's just tape where they have the label taped on or the price tag taped on, but both of them are unopened mint condition or new condition. I don't see any damage just by looking at them. So uh, I'll probably keep one, probably sell one. Sell one now for maybe like 30 bucks. I think I've seen some of them going for. I paid $5 each for those. Um, I actually bought the first one for five bucks and then I went out in the car and I'm like, ah, I gotta go get that other one. So I went and bought the other one. That was the only two they had, but if they don't sell, they don't sell. They're still cool. Part of history. Um, just piled everything in this bag. In that original video, I uh, 
said that I was debating on buying a 99 factory sealed tops um, card or complete set. And I'm glad I didn't because they wanted 60 bucks for it and I was looking them up and I think there you can buy an entire entire factory sealed set for like, I don't even know, not much at all. Um, anyway, here's this little bag of cards. I think I paid two bucks for it. Madison Baumgartner. There's a top loader in there. I briefly looked through. I think I saw a couple of good rookies. Um, so I'll probably go through that here in a minute once I get done showing everything. Don't know if there's any value to it. I don't sell everything that I buy, so I might keep it for my personal collection too if I like it. This, for example, I paid three bucks. It's not even a rare Griffey card. I just liked it because it was cool. It's in a plaque. You don't, I don't see it often. So uh, I picked it up. It's Don Russ 87. Or 97, I mean. 91. I'm blind. 91 Don Russ. Ken Griffey Jr. All-Star. So just a basic little plaque. Um, and I bought all of these. It was a dollar a bag of these. I just liked them. They're all boxing cards. John Sullivan. Joe Frazier. I don't know if they're all from the same set, I'm assuming. Ray Mercer. I've not even heard of some of these guys. Ezard Charles. Obviously some of them are from before I was even born. But I bought six bags of them. Roberto Duran and Leonard. And there's Roberto Duran right there. I think I bought them because they remind me of my dad. I mean, my dad's still alive, but we used to watch a lot of boxing. Or talk about it sometimes, anyway. I don't know. And they were just interesting. I never looked up to see if they were worth anything. I doubt it, but I'll probably keep them anyway. Hopefully there's like a Mike Tyson or something buried in here. Larry Holmes. I like Mike Tyson. I'm weird. Um, those are a dollar a pack, though. Or a dollar a bag. I also am a nerd about random things. Bought this little Workman Union chewing tobacco foil pack. It was a dollar. It'll go somewhere in my shed. Look cool. I'm just going to hang on to it. Bought these license plates. Some of them are older. I have no idea the actual dates on them. You can tell somebody probably hung this one up before in their shed. Um, I think I paid, I don't know, $2 for that. I did pay 2 for this one, so it's right there. I don't know what vehicle they would have put a red and yellow license plate on. I think this one was, yeah, this one was four bucks, says right there, but cool looking. It'll go nicely on my wall, probably over there somewhere, maybe on that side of the door. Um, just getting things decorated in here how I like them. So there's those. And another thing that I went back in and purchased after the fact, I'd already been out to my, I came back in to get the second round because I wanted those base or well these cards that I'm going to show you 2010 tops and then uh, another pack of those LeBron freshmen so and I'm probably going to have to edit this last part out because I just remember I had my name and phone number on that receipt and I don't really want that floating around YouTube but uh, anyway I went out to my car was thinking about this they're all pretty well insert cards but I got to looking at them because I hadn't really wasn't real familiar with them and I thought they were cool looking um, just looking at the different sets on my phone so for 15 bucks I went in and picked them up and I'm happy that I did because I think they're actually pretty cool looking and they look like they're in really good condition some of these ones might have a little bit of damage to the corners but I mean a lot of them are already packaged like so Manny Ramirez. I'm not even sure what these are. Topstown. I guess it was like a sweepstakes. Yeah, free digital pack Topstown. So there's that. Um, 
legendary lineage sets are cool. Willie McCovey, Ryan Howard, Ricky Henderson, Carl Crawford. Here's another one of those legendary lineage. So it should be the entire set of those. Although one looks considerably thicker than the other. Um, I don't think that's factory sealed, so I'll probably break into them. I'm assuming you probably put them in here after the fact. Um, Tales of the Game. Another little insert set from 2010 Tops. There was a couple top loaders in here with Reggie Jackson, little mini cards. Then there's another Hanley Ramirez. Not sure why they put those in the top loaders, but whatever. There's... I haven't even looked in here yet. Angels 1978. So I might have a... Wow. I might have a uh, hidden gem here. Let me pause this for a minute. Okay. I wanted to set up a little better here so I can go through these cards without um, using both or one hand. And I think I found a bit of a hidden gem at the back of this. Um, I'm not familiar with these. They're million card giveaways. I'm assuming they saved them just because they've got the player on the front, but they're all expired. Um, but I mean, they got Hall of Famers at least on the front of the cards usually. And then there's also this Tops Attack set. Um, enter code at bat and battle at topstown.com. Code expires 2 1 2011. So, uh, obviously these are all expired, but still kind of cool. Got some good players on them. Looks like it might be the entire set of them. Let's see how they compare Votto to Matt Holliday. Hmm. They say Matt Holliday's a better hitter. I don't know if I agree with that or not, but I'm a Matt Holliday fan, so I'll go with it. I mean, they got a lot of them. And then, there's some Topps Heritage in here, which wasn't even part of that 2010. I mean, they are 2010 Topps Heritage, but it's kind of cool. Peace Corps, John F. Kennedy, Ham the Chimp. The card feels like it's got a bit of a... Felt like I had some damage to it. So these are all just not even necessarily baseball cards. They're not baseball cards. They're just cards from, well, there's Ty Cobb. That's cool. But then at the very back was this, 1978 Angels. I saw that from the bottom of that plastic case, and it looks like it's a set of 1978, well, not even Angels, but... It is 1978 tops. I do not believe that this is a reprint. So there might be some really good cards in here. Um, yeah, there is an Angels there. Jerry Remy. Frank Tanana. Probably not. I don't really remember any uh, amazing Angels players from way back when, but you never know. Bob Gritch. Dad Bosley. Dave LaRoche. Ron Jackson. Ken Brett. Dave Garcia as player and as manager. Lyman Bostock. Rance Molin Molinix. Tony Salida. Paul Hartzell. Ike Hampton. Mike Barlow. Baylor Moore. Gary Ross. Gil Flores. Gary Nolan. And Tyre Humph Tyler or Terry Humphrey. So no incredibly amazing players that I've seen there. I mean, I'm sure they were all good players. Excuse me. Good players back in the day, but... A 78. Ozzie Smith. I think Ozzie Smith was playing. Then I could be off. Like a 78 Nolan Ryan would have been better, but... They were in really good shape. I'm going to put them right back in that uh, plastic case. 
they were in there like that whenever I opened it up. Um, I might just sell those as a set of 1978 Angels. Some of the other cards that were in that box, they also had them divided by these spacers. And then there's, uh, I'm not even sure what these are considered. Anyway, here's these Mickey Mantle, Duke Snyder, Frank Robinson. Orlando Cepeda, a couple of them. Bob Gibson. So, I mean, obviously these are all reprints, but they're all Hall of Famers. You know, for 15 bucks. Oh, here's a Frank Thomas. Dang it, that's a reprint too. <laughs> Thought I was lucky there for a second. Still, though, even his reprints are cool looking cards. And then here's these tops. Same thing, reprints, gold, Kevin Euclid, two of them, Ichiro, they've all got this card your mom threw out, um, so I'm wondering if this wasn't like, your mom threw these cards out, and then they have that uh, deal that I showed a minute ago, um, where you can send off for that sweepstakes, and these are the cards they give you. This is from that When They Were Young set. Um, well, oh, here we go. Let's see if I can find just these. Hell, I don't know. Here's a couple of the When They Were Young. Charlie Morton, Gordon Beckham. Look at Yachty. That's cool, though. I have a lot more of those in there. There's more of them Tales of the Game cards. Oh, sticking together a little bit, not bad. I mean, these probably I'll keep. Spacer. Here's some peak performances. Steve Carlton, Justin Morneau, Bob Gibson. Some Hall of Famers. Obviously, insert sets weren't or aren't what they used to be, as far as value goes. But there's Stan Musial. So I mean, still getting some good players, Hall of Famers. Pretty well about Alfonso Soriano, but most all of them are Hall of Famers. Obviously, a lot of the vintage players are going to be like Roger Maris and Rogers Hornby, Hornsby, Kurt Schilling. That stuck together pretty good, that last one is. Or is that just a, oh, that's just, oh, it's a, well, that's nice. Go ahead and peel that apart. It's a Jordan Zimmerman Peak Performance Game Worn Jersey. So... Another spacer. Here's these uh, prominent baseball players. Several Ryan Howards, Miguel Tejada, Upton, Papelbon, Derek Weave, Victor Martinez. Some of these guys have obviously panned out a little more than others. Matt Holiday, but back in 2010 they were all prominent. Cards have a little bit of warping to them from being in that box, but I mean, they're not damaged. I put them in a top loader for a while and they'd straighten right out. Kurt Suzuki, Ryan Ludwig. Remember watching him as a Cardinal. He was one of my favorite players. I hated when they traded him. And then here's just some more of the... I don't know if this is just the base cards or what. No, it's different teams. Michael Dunn rookie card. Brad Penny's. For 15 bucks, though, I mean... I think it's worth it. Well worth it. Several rookies there. 
or a couple rookies. Some of them better than others, obviously. Some of them are sticking together. Wainwright, Carpenter, De La Rosa. Jason Marquis. Two of them. There's a Griffey. Was he even playing in 2010? I guess so. Designated hitter. Kinsler, Pujols, Baumgartner, Scott Harston, or Harston, Eric Ibar, Kutch, Brett Anderson, Ichiro, Hank Blaylock. So, I mean, they're all... I don't know what they're considered. If they're base cards that are... Um, considered parallel since they've got the team name on the front or whatever. He's a Vlad Senior. So I'm not going to go through all these, but you get the point. I'm happy I went back in and picked it up. I mean... Sorry if you can't see. I'm making myself a mess here. Brad Kilby. If anybody watches this and there's a card out of this set that I really need to be looking out for, let me know. Coco Crisp. Oh, Coco. And they're all in really good shape, too. Like, they haven't really been handled a lot. I'm probably handling them more now than what they'd been handled before. I've never even heard of this guy, Sharon Marte. Marte. Here's an Ian Desmond rookie. That's nice. Elvis Andrews. I am a collector, but I also like to sell. Um, so, if I can make money on cards... If I'm not going to add it to my personal collection, then all the better. Pujols, Fielder, and Howard. And here I am sitting here going through all of them. They're not really stuck together so much. They're just kind of, they don't want to slide off of each other. Daniel McCutcheon, rookie card. Luke Scott, another Luke Scott, Lance Berkman, he's a Daniel Hudson rookie, that's a nice one, I became a huge Berkman fan back when he was a Cardinal, if you haven't watched any of my videos yet, I am a Cardinals fan, if you can't tell by my decor, there's Chris Coughlin, or Coughlin, Peralta, also an ex-Cardinal. Lyle Overbay. Nationals. Adam Dunn. Kevin Euclid. And David Ortiz. I'm mainly going through this still because there's some rookies in here. Gerald Laird, Laird was a Cardinal for a little bit. Briefly, I believe. Several of his cards. Jose Valverde. Several Casimir. Jim Tomei. Here's a Pooh Holes. A couple Pooh Holes. Soon to be a Hall of Famer. And then there's a Chicago Cubs card. Um, a few more in that stack. I don't know where I put all that when they were young cards. I don't know. I had some more of those. I thought I did. More Cubs. Cabrera. Angels. Trevor Hoffman. Troy Tulowitzki. Connor Jackson. For Cal. Or for Call. Also a formal Cardinal. Sergio Santos. Rookie card. Kevin Kuzminoff. Aaron Hill. Eddie Murray. Chad Qualls. And Micah Velez. So. 
I think that's pretty well it for those. I was hoping to find the rest of those when they were young cards, but I don't know where they went. Now, here's those lineage cards. Oh, besides the mill lot. Those are kind of neat. I don't know if that means that there's some relation or what. Mantle and Jones ranked numbers one and three respectively on the all-time list for home runs by a switch hitter. In fact, it was Mickey's success that encouraged Chipper's father, Larry Sr., to teach his son how to swing from both sides of the plate in the backyard of their Florida home. Through 2009, Jones has six 30 homer campaigns, three shy of the Commerce Comet. So, any time that I can find some cards with, I mean, Ty Cobb, or like that one there, Babe Ruth and A-Rod, I'm sure A-Rod will make the Hall of Fame someday. Johnny Bench and Pudge, Duke Snyder and Andre Ethier, Greenberg and Braun, Eckersley and Rivera, or Rivera. I'm happy with finding those cards. Some more of those history of the game. And there's a bunch of them attacks again, so. Um, let me know how you think I did on that set. I'm sure I'm going to have some harsh critics on it. I said I overpaid. I think that 78 Angels set was pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, there weren't any hidden... Uh, autographs that I found or anything like that. I'm going to have to go through here and put them back in somewhat order again. But Nonetheless, like I said, $15 it ain't. I'll keep most of these anyway. It's not all about value all the time or uh, price. I'm going to go ahead and go through that little baggie of cards that I found. I paid two bucks for this. Again, if you watch this, if there's a card in here that stands out to you that's worth some money, or that's just a nice card or whatever, let me know. Stuff in my way. So I got Madison Baumgartner, Chuck Noblock, first round draft pick, Brian Jordan. Um, Johan Santana, Barry Bonds, there you go. Used to be a dollar card. It's a Piazza. Beltre. And they're high end cards. Bowman Platinum. Well, the last one was Tops. You know, Don Russ Zenith. And this is a Bowman. I think it was considered Bowman Platinum. Zimmerman. Mark Terrin. I don't think that's a real autograph. I think that's just a reprint, but not even really familiar with them. Bernie Williams, 1990 rookie, is the one we got in the top loader. So, that's decent. Decade greats, Bob Filler, Daryl Strawberry, Daryl Boston, random, Joe Carter, Scott, sorry, probably can't even see him, Scott Champarino, well, all right. Charlie O'Brien, Junior Ortiz, tops gold. There's a Chuck Hayes, Kevin Reimer, or Reimer, Bill Wegman, Reggie Sanders, Tony Tarasco. Here's a Nolan Ryan card. <laughs> As a baby, that's kind of cool. Pacific, 91 Pacific. Baby Nolan Ryan. Here's this little mini doohickey. Um, and it's been bent, unfortunately. Von Hayes, superstar. Oh, looks like there's two. Uh, I think somebody stuck a sticker on it or something. Oh, well. Tim Belcher, Greg Olson, Danny Tartable, another Zimmerman. Matt Kane, Bowman Chrome, and then a Ruben Mateo, Bowman Best, Best Bets. 
I don't know how he panned out, but for two bucks, I'm willing to look. So anyway, there's that. Um, I think I did all right. Can't really complain about a $15 box of cards like that and $2 little bag of cards. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I'll probably go through those boxing cards at a different break. Not really a break, but a different video at a later date. Maybe tomorrow night when I get home from work. But uh, thanks for watching. Um, if I missed anything, any good cards that you've seen that you want to point out, let me know. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. See ya.